What are we willing to do today and how long are we willing to do it? How long are we willing to study, to stay up at night, and to study the Constitution of the United States, which you can go to a library or a bookstore and get for the small price of $2.95? Yes, $2.95 for you to learn with your God-given rights, your, mine, our collective, God-given rights are in the United States. How long are you willing to study? How much time are you willing to put in? How much effort are you willing to have? How long are you willing to talk about it until change comes? Well, I ask you that question. Hopefully by the end of this lecture, you will have the answer. What are we willing to do today? Are we willing to turn off ESPN? Because I know you're getting checks every time the Lakers win. I understand you gotta check it and see how much your percentage is, I understand. Are we willing to leave the malls? Are we a are we willing to apply ourselves in ways that we have never dreamed of? Are you willing to put in time to lose the weight and shed the pounds of procrastination and build mental muscle and apply thoughts of persistence because persistence is stronger than resistance? I'm going to say that again. Persistence is stronger than resistance. Say it with me. Persistence is stronger than resistance. In a day where more money is spent on war than education, there is a problem. In a day where there's more cancer and disease is not decreasing, there is a problem. In a day where there are less jobs in the US and more jobs are being outsourced in China and other countries, there is a problem. In a day where there are libraries and public schools are being closed at alarming rates, there is a problem. In a day where our children are having children, there is a problem. In a day where we spend more money on coffee in a year than we do investing in ourselves, there is a problem. In a day where gas prices can exceed $5 a gallon and we pull up to the pump without a problem and asking questions and doing something about it, there is a problem. In a day where we scream, yes we can, and elect a man for president, but we live our lives and say, no we can't, there is a problem. There's a problem with the way we think. Maybe we should stop, take a deep breath, and think about what we're thinking about. <laughs> I'm gonna say that again. Maybe we should think about what we're thinking about. <clears throat> Everything in life inhales and exhales because it is balance. Your skin breathes. Your skin breathes, it's the largest organ on your body. I'm telling you this for a reason because it all plays into how we think and what's going on in today's society. We have heard, you are what you eat, you are what you think, because what you think you should eat, you eat. Some of us are walking around looking like the animals we eat. Listen to what I'm telling you. You cannot make progress 
doing the same thing. That is the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing and expecting a new result. You see, you've heard it before. But most people know what to do, but don't do what they know. Remove the disease of procrastination. It will not work for you. Get up on time. Go to work an hour earlier. Oh. <laughs> Contribute something to that in which you are involved in and don't look for anything in return. And it will be returned to you. Why are you looking for raises if you are not adding anything to your company to raise the stocks of the company that you work for? You are getting exactly what you are worked for, but you're complaining about a raise. Raise means to elevate, have you? Or you, or you, or you. So I say to you today, my brothers and my sisters, our job is not done yet. All our history has not yet been written. Go out into the world with the mindset of wanting to make it an incredible mark in society. Create a cure for cancer. Become the next president. It's time to move forward and upward to the greatness. Be the CEO of you. Who is your chief executive officer? Who's making the decisions for you? Who is your CEO? Or is somebody else running your company? Muscle burns fat. Did you know that? So if you work to get muscle, it will do the fat burning for you. But you gotta eat right to have enough energy to gain access to the muscle. And resistance will do the rest because gravity is consistent. Something is always gonna try to pull you down. But when you push up, your chest gets big. That's what happens. Persistence is stronger than resistance. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.